CN's fleet of Dash A40CMs relatively had minimal accidents over their 30 year careers. However, out of the fleet of 55 units, one of them had managed to have a rather rough career, and yet it managed to last until the end of its service life. This is the story of CN2415. CN2415 was built in March 1990 as one of 55-840 CMs to be purchased by the railroad. Their cowl order was separated into two batches, with 2415 being a part of the first batch, as evident with the zebra paint, two marker lights, the striped plow, and the classical mountain bell on the top, which was an icon for Canadian diesel locomotives of any type. 2415 would have a regular working life for many years, handling freight trains nationwide across the CN network. That was until November 1996, when the locomotive would be involved in a wreck and received an unknown amount of damage. I couldn't find any information of said wreck, nor even a photo to show the extent of the damage, but the wreck must have been bad enough for a full-on repair. The locomotive would return to service in 1998 with a repaired cab and a new coat of paint, and everything seemed to go back to normal. However, it seemed that luck wasn't on her side. As six years later, on December 23rd, 2002, when 2415 was trailing on an intermodal train near Langley, BC, when she suffered damage from a crossing accident when a dump truck turned onto the crossing and running into the train. 2415 suffered major damage from colliding container cars, with the cab being completely ripped open, with the cab controls dangling out from what was left of the cab window. Surprisingly though, despite the damage done to her cab, the locomotive was repaired, and would return to service not long after, with another repaint. It seemed like afterwards, her accident streak had essentially vanished. I mean, two wrecks would have been enough for one locomotive, but even then, she wasn't free from accidents just yet. Some developing news we first told you about earlier. Emergency crews are dealing with a train derailment in Richmond Hill. We are getting our first live pictures at the scene right now. It's on Egling Mills between Young and Newkirk. That stretch is now closed. Two CN rail cars became partially dislodged from the track. Now they're still sitting upright, as you can see, and they're attached to the. On rest January 31st, 2015, 2415 was hauling a southbound manifest down Canadian National's Ballow Sub when two of the freight cars derailed right behind its train. But thankfully though, 2415 remained on the rails. No spills or injuries were reported as the crew managed to come out fine, but resulted in road traffic at the nearby crossing being rerouted. The exact cause of the derailment is unknown, as many articles covering it never updated on it, but it can be presumed it was a faulty axle on one of the cars, negligence on maintenance, or a broken rail. I will say, three accidents in one service career for a locomotive is rather interesting, as I don't think many other locomotives had more than three accidents in their life and still return to service afterwards. You could say 2415 might have been jinxed, but the thing is, the locomotive never killed anyone that operated her or even came close to her. She never severely damaged herself to the point that it resulted in her being scrapped, and the accidents were essentially years apart from one another. If the accidents were more closer to one another, then it would be a little more believable. Afterwards, 2415 would continue regular service on CN. However, its life on there wouldn't last much longer, as it was retired around 2021, and later sold to Larry's Truck and Electric in Lordstown, Ohio, where it was eventually scrapped, putting an end to a rather turbulent and rough life for a rather unfortunate locomotive. <laughs>